Bum, ba da bum, bum, ba da bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba da bum, ba da. Da da da. Bum, bum. Hello. How are you cuties doing tonight? Hi, Megan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you goober. As he was here. <clears throat> Evangeline. Thank you for the first. Get yourself a little smooch on the forehead. Mm -hmm. bum, bum. Anti grab. Always lovely to see you, my dear friend. Flippy has immediately compressed me. All right. Fine. I see how it is. Where is my compression? Ah! Are you satisfied? Huh. <laughs> uh, and funny blue bunny, hi hi. I I see you've uh, you found this this side of my life. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, honey. Um, boom, boom. <clears throat> well, you know, like we should never be satisfied. You always gotta strive for more. What this data is center? Primal uh, Exodus. It, okay. Yum be one of turn. Alright. And yeah, seems like that's everyone for now. Let's pop on over to game proper. Hello. Oh, here we go. We got our full rain fit in effect now that it's actually raining. Rain jacket, my umbrella. God, this looks so cute. I'm very happy with how this set turned out. <laughs> I've still just got my fancy dancer set on. Yeah, I mean, it looks very I'm, cute. I'm really glad that I got into uh, FF14 just in time to actually grab the Summer Sunset cover-up, because it has become such a huge part of my fit here. It really has been. I mean, have you, has there been any other chance to reclaim that since? I'm not sure. Yeah, we definitely came out a good time then. <laughs> yeah. Because it is probably the cutest uh, holiday item I've seen in the game so far. Hello! Indeed. Oh. Hello! Hello, Evangeline. Welcome in. Hi. 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 You upside down and shakes you. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Evil. Oh, apologies. Uh, as I. Estior? Estior? I just call him Blue Bunny. Blue Bunny. Apologies, Blue Bunny. Um, I am actually the tank. Uh, I'm just um using the uh the story XP on uh on uh Dancer. Oh, there are Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers, there and Walker, anyways. Yeah, I haven't like, touched. Uh, we haven't touched five, uh, Dawn Trail yet. Five point uh, four? Five point three? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're somewhere oh, on our way. That's fair. Ah, uh, no fair. worries. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, 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 you fucking think you can tank better than me? Well, you're probably right! <laughs> <laughs> Viking here is normally our tank, but we've been doing a lot of side content, so they've been leveling Dancer. Hey. So usually I take this. <laughs> or healer. Well, whichever well, I don't trust. <clears throat> Lilin underscore V Demon just subscribed. Thank you so much, dearie. What? Go get that John Fantasy. I am going to murder John Fantasy. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you for the hey. resub. You get a smooch. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Fishnet. Good to have you. <laughs> also, uh, Evangeline is pretty and cool. Pretty true. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Killing you. <laughs> Not me you're directing that ad. It's Vluffy. Vluffy is the culprit. And you still comply. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's that's what it's called being an accomplice. <clears throat> Doesn't matter who takes that and who. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is me, the healer. The only HP that matters is the last one. Do not test me. Yeah. <laughs> you make me so proud. And I I I I I I feel the same way. Like if I'm in this, say, if I'm playing dancer, I'm a little bit more worried about my HP. If I'm playing tank, then my only two states are dead and alive. 
<laughs> and Nothing frankly, else matters. <laughs> the only thing that matters is that last number, or if the next attack is going to go past that last number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally, I've found that even if, like, I am not actively being healed, um, I can just pop equilibrium. I have not. I have not returned to Goblin for three weeks in a row. <laughs> that means I just haven't touched this game at all. Mm. But Limbus Company has me by the fucking throat and the bottom part. And reverse 1999. Uh, I perfectly try I to get myself uh, killed as much as I can as a day. You know, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I, Con can attest that I occasionally do stupid shit. That's okay. That's why I have mitigation buttons, shields, and instant heals. <laughs> nice the super bro life. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. Mm -hmm. Alright. And yeah, exactly. You should always spend your HP. I, I will occasionally just decide that a mechanic is too hard and face tank through it instead of actually trying to learn it. <laughs> I am. Why am I not next to the tree? Uh, that's that's always how it works. Like you go to sleep next to the tree, and then you wake up like over here facing it instead. I don't know. I'm not sure why. Yeah, <laughs> I think that probably what's going on is um, there's a certain amount of variance uh to where you precisely wake up, and they don't want people clipping inside objects like the tree. So unless you're sitting on like a designated sitting point like they'll a just, bench yeah it'll bring you to somewhere nearby but not in danger of clipping yeah, essentially I, I imagine that there's a like radius uh -huh. around the tree that they teleport you out of that's how i would do it if i was programming the thing yeah and mm -hmm. to answer that question anna loves warrior warrior <laughs> yeah thinking about it yeah that makes sense because there were there's there's usually like a lot of glitches that's out of bound that's related to being in a spot and teleporting out of it. Mm -hmm. Or not teleporting out of it, but like doing something that puts you out of the game for a little bit, which is New Game Plus. Yeah. For the record, Bunny, um, the reason I picked Warrior and have stuck with it, really, aside from it just being fun for me, is that this character, uh, Anna, who you see both on, on screen uh, and, uh, and on my profile pic, was originally a D&D &D character that I ported over to Final Fantasy, and she was a barbarian. This is on. I so, so like, very very Warrior is effectively the uh, the Final Fantasy XIV version of Barbarian. So I do what I know. <laughs> so lady. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Oh, speaking of ladies, do we know if Paint's coming today? Oh, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. I shout at them. Um, while we figure that out, I'm going to go repair my gear. Good idea. Uh, you can just go ask me. Come ask me. Come to me. Okay. Request. Yara? Uh, let me see. Request repair. Um. Here they go. Ace. I, look, I looked at her loudly. <laughs> Very fair. Well, Ace. I will also say that I am an enjoyer of Warrior as well. Though in this character, the tank I have is just Dark Knight. Thank you. It's fine. Enjoy your 10,000 gil. Granted, my main my main classes are Scholar and White Mage. Scholar being the main. <laughs> Don't ask what I play. I'll give you varied answers. Okay, Ace, uh, Ace is fine. Got it. Uh, and Hello, Paint eight. says no FF14, but may watch stream. Oh, it's okay. Alright. What, what, how much money you want, you goober? What? To repair. Oh, uh, I don't know. Make your choice. Uh, if it's 10, I, I, I gave Eva 10,000 for the full thing. Wow. Oh. Oh, I'm getting paid. Maybe I should break your gear more in game. <laughs> Thanks I actually don't know what like what the the general accepted price range is for repairs. So I mean, I it costs like two, oh yeah, it costs like two thousand to do it from the thing the drink, but gotcha. We tip I, our I think, I think like I think like the general. Let me see. I can. I have the material on me, so I can check what the general selling price is. 
Wait, is it a gun? Either way, you're getting 10,000 because you fucking deserve it. Mm -hmm. Also, let me teleport us over to Rod. Wait, is there a flight to Radzatan? There is, I think. Wait, let's just take the ship over. Damn it. Oh, you're too late. Huh? Uh... Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Where are we going? Wait, airline right to Radzatan. I have, I have A4 right tickets and I will be using them. <laughs> God damn it. Skill issue. The massive of Bing. Talking a lot of pauses for Dantra. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot about good things from it, too. And a lot about a certain honeybee? Question mark? so sweet. I don't know, probably a character people are thirsting over, which, fair, B girl's good. This probably has something to do with that, uh, that, that song I mentioned last time, the fucking Be I mean, My Honey. I, I will say, the only thing I will say about it is that one of the mechanics is that she barely charms you. Like, you get three hearts, and if all three hearts are filled up, you get charmed and stunned. I see. She's supposed to be attractive. Also, I see. Really good B design that you'll see. Hell yeah. Like honestly, a really good B girl. When, when, when are they? When are they going to actually put in the full-on charm mechanic? Like not just oh you get stunned, but your character starts being piloted by an AI that starts attacking your teammates. I mean that's called confusion. That that they have a status effect. That's confusion. So they can honestly just mix it together. No, it's not hip the fuck bees. Shut up, bubbers. Compress. Hip the fuck bees. Ah, oh, and paints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pa, 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 pa. You are a good bean. I hope you're having a lovely night. I'm having a really hard time finding grade 9 cluster. Mm. Ah! You spooked me. Oh, I found it. Uh, it's... It's shop selling price is 280. So it's probably like around... Like a thousand, a thousand five hundred-ish. For like a full repair mm -hmm. and it only costs one regardless of the the damage how damaged it like is the... yeah oh this is my favorite let's see <laughs> oh She's inviting us out for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl. I'm so Thanks. proud of her. I think I can start part two now. Yes! Okay, I can finally <laughs> join along now. Yippee! I wish it was in more parts, but I, I think I, it's probably coding lines. <laughs> Coco. <Coke. laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, do we get to choose which spice? Yeah, I'm going with the uh, the um, the fourth one because it sounds from the description like it's a sort of wasabi sort of thing. Ooh, I think, I think they do affect the little part. So. Sharp aroma <laughs> suggests a bracing flavor. I think I'm gonna go with a lustrous crimson powder. That just feels like that's it's the one hot. that is very hot. I think it does affect the little okay. fun part. You'll see. I see. <laughs> but hi, Shy. Hope you're having a lovely mini. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, Paint. I hope you feel better soon. Let's go. 
Also, Stardew Valley. It's Swedish. It's Swedish milk coming. I'll probably be paladin. Oh no! We have to taste it too! Yep! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh no! You should play Stardew sometime, Kane. Let's see you, let's see you, let's see you. I'm a fucking tongue. Okay, Zero's my kind of girl. <laughs> I one one thing I'll say, I fucking love spicy. I'm so sad. I I've said it once and I said it like a <laughs> I, thousand more times. My ass is half Mexican and I still have the fucking spice tolerance of the whitest person on earth. Oh my <laughs> god, I con I think that I think that I can probably handle my spice better than you. You can, and That's that makes bad. me so upsetting. Oh my usual place. <laughs> I, well, you can't really taste anything. Spice is the next best thing. Of course, Zero. It would be my pleasure. Well, now, this, this uh, is one. enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. They're making her a special curry. I don't need that much. Rest assured, it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the kettle and share it. <clears throat> there would be enough not only for your companions, but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Very well. A full kettle, then. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. <laughs> and for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. <laughs> a little, please. Grateful though I am for the offer. I'm going. I'm going all out. <laughs> the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. Oh, no. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. If I have on a touch, <laughs> my elder. <laughs> Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. I am nothing if not true to character. Okay, so apparently the spice industry is actually one of the major things that uh, that um, makes uh, Radzadhan such a uh, financial powerhouse. Makes sense. I mean, if it's based off of India, spice are huge. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like this is very accurate to the history of the spice road. Mm -hmm. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. Mm -hmm. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to yeah, good prosper point. Like... while maintaining its neutrality. Yeah, no one fucks with the people with the spices. So you trade your spices? Yeah. But also, I when when trading Ajdaya when when we get Ajdaya back, <laughs> uh, if if we like, imagine you get kidnapped to the fucking dark world for years and years and years, and when you finally get back, it turns out your little brother um built an entire fucking nation basically, is <laughs> doing really well. Yeah. I feel like she's gonna be so Together, proud of him. We build this that is, it's nation. gonna be very cute. And not would please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Rubicante said the same when he described this world. Rubicante was still a G. Has been stolen from yeah. Us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante. Oh, here we go. As... Mm -hmm. I still do not understand what made me feel this way. Nor what compels you mortals to help one another. 
it's, it's served with naan. Oh, that looks so good. Ah, I want naan now. Find the un oh, I hear the whispering now. Here it comes. What is going on? What? What's happening? They're just bringing out stew, honey. Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Mine's a bright red. Is yours oh, the same? Means, I'd welcome yeah. The challenge. Mm -hmm. Sisters have mercy. The smell alone is. <laughs> oh, boy's dead! Hildebrand ass moment. <laughs> to better maintain the facade, the alchemist ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. <laughs> Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. Relax. I don't have time for that. I've been waiting for this. Come. Let's replenish our ether. <laughs> She's so intense about it! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, watch the background carefully. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> so bad! I gotta check this actually. Um, okay, it's no no matter whether you actually have the uh, the spicy version or the mild version, it's the same dialogue. <laughs> but yeah, either way, Warrior of Light can canonically handle spice. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> A single other aura is left standing. I trust you have eaten your fill. I shall have Marit <laughs> prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is. Honestly, the life flash before your eyes dialogue is very funny, mm -hmm. but By I actually side, like the image of like the entirety of the fucking Haduka. room is dead. And we're just like, oh, that was a really good combo. <laughs> yeah, just Warrior of Light and uh, and um, Zero's like, yeah, that was that was a really good combo. I think we did a great job. Handing <laughs> shot. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Oh man, I would have really loved it if they just stuck us in a, a quick little instance version of this place where we could talk to everyone who was fucking dead. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Our buffs are different. You had Spicy Circulation XX12. I had one. I should have read it. Warm and invigorated by a bowl of hot curry. Yeah, I think that that was like. So what does that do? And that one's like, and this one says, "Reforge by the flames of a truly challenging curry." So it actually does take into account which one you chose. Yeah. Neat. I mean, it don't, doesn't seem like it actually did anything, but you know. Yeah. That's a cute little thing. Yeah, that was the one. Alright. I love the single R just drinking so casually. Mm -hmm. Just another meal. He's built different. Truly. But as I said, I, I doubt the ones under the water might have handled as well. Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. I. Enter. Estinian? Oh, I was about to say, is this about to be a thirst trap? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking one-handed push-ups, sweaty looking ass. <laughs> Don't say wood. <laughs> yeah. 
Squid masala from the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masari. Squid masala sounds so I good. My squid dried, but I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. Is Zero gonna have any emotions seeing this man shirtless? She oh my god, she is! Oh my god, she is! Shall we oh, I see. She's just confused and thinks that we it would be polite for us to take our clothes off too. Oh, oh okay. I legitimately thought... I'm like, were they, are they really about to do this? Oh yeah, someone was definitely interested in making this scene. No, no. <laughs> We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once, I am sure. I mean, the funny thing is, like, Warrior of Light has a reaction. In terms of the, my, like, <laughs> D&D, Anna's canonical personality, her response to uh, Zero's question would be immediately start unhooking her bra. <laughs> Blocked by the dragon, indeed. He's like, please don't fuck under my roof. We can't have this. At last. <clears throat> We've been looking for you. What's up, you still on? My friends. But I Tell love me. how are fucking casual we are about the, the crazy shit that's happened. Like, you're still just like, oh yeah, it required a visit to the moon. So. Oh. You know, just casually, a little visit to the moon. To to assistance. It, the fact that you can just go to the moon in a couple of minutes just to pick up your friend. I should be glad it truly is insane to how massively our shenanigans have changed the source. <laughs> My god. That would have been very funny, Shy. I've... Fucking Urianja and Yistola walk in, all four of them, shirtless. <laughs> uh, like, what the fuck were you guys talking about? Kante spoke true. Both <clears throat> Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making <clears throat> the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Okay. How do you do that? Such a feat possible. In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. And according to a certain someone oh, who unceremoniously <laughs> whisked us away to the first, the same so if we make a void gate on the moon, then we should come out on the, the moon. The moon of the 13th. Yeah. Makes sense. Neat. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon <clears> of the 13th. I'd say that we should probably ask Heidelin's permission before uh, before putting a void gate on her moon. But, but uh, she ain't here. <laughs> Mom ain't home. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures. I mean, it's not like they're doing it without. Yeah, they're, they they cool. told the yeah, Watcher and the Loperitz. Are also there. Mm -hmm. They're on board, so that's basically her permission. I presume you've also found a way to open <laughs> this gate. Yeah. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. What do you think, Count? A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. <clears throat> 
After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. Right, because we got to bring her back. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brands imprisoning Zodiac, and we, in light That's manner, certainly a way to do to it. Channel ether hmm. to the moon, and thereby open our gate. So basically, stealing Fan Daniel's original plan and hijacking it for a completely different purpose. Yeah. I mean, if it works. Then we shall need someone on the moon it's, for the necessary <clears throat> rituals. Are going to be okay with us using their fucking castle like that? Just Can so they stop us? I, intend to I guess to not, but I feel like we should still well try to be diplomatic. To <laughs> to <deal with> <laughs> actually, who's in charge? Wait, actually, there is no one in charge. charge to do diplomatic talks with Garlemald. Along with our it's currently powers, leaderless. We will once again require the assistance Fuck. of your alchemist, <clears throat> Nidana, not least of all. I mean, if they just hear the fact that. Oh, you know, we're doing this to make sure the world doesn't get flooded by Void Scent, and they're being attacked by Void Scent already? Why would point, they complain? Yeah. yeah, I mean, they directly benefit from us doing this. I, I forgot the detail about, from, from the last thing about, like, hey, yeah, there's a bunch of Void Scent in fucking Garlemald now, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So they hear it's gonna put a stop to that? I don't think they're gonna Finally, really mind. The room was beginning to feel constraining. Temporary For committee my part, of I shall oversee oh. the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? Sure <clears throat> if all are in agreement, then let us set to work. Mm. We'll open our gate, and we will stop Golbez. Here's an interesting genre-related question hmm. uh, for you. Uh, What's up? Do you think that Final Fantasy XIV has at this point crossed... Ooh, the Dark Throne. I like that crossed, title. Like, the threshold of being able to be seriously referred to as a science fiction story? In a way, I don't... I think it has. I mean, obviously, there's always the argument that it is a weird blend of the two. And... I think that's probably the most correct way to say it. I agree. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, technically it's already been. <laughs> but I um, definitely think it qualifies as science fiction at this point as well. Yeah. I mean, if it didn't qualify back then when we already had the elegance, I think it very barely qualifies now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Considering we I, have I mean, killer robots, spaceships, travel to the moon, and are yeah. uh, are going into different dimensions. All of which has already been present in every other Final Fantasy. If the culmination of Final Fantasy in general is not science fiction, I don't know what is. Yeah, I mean, hell. Final Fantasy VII way back in the day was straight up cyberpunk dystopia. Yeah. So it's Final Fantasy 1 had some sci-fi stuff already. I mean, okay, technically not cyberpunk, but... Magipunk, which is the equivalent. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure that... If it didn't invent the Magipunk aesthetic, and I don't think it did, Final Fantasy at least massively popularized Magipunk. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fair I, statement. I think by, Airships I think plus by, magic have been like yeah. a staple for so long now. But I think the difference would be depending on where the magic comes. If it's coming from the ground, it's probably magic punk, because like ceruleum is just oil. It's just magic oil. Mm -hmm. I think like by a, I think by ARR or at the very minimum Stormblood, it would be considered sci-fi by then. Yeah. But I think by Endwalker and Beyond, yeah, that's sci-fi now. Yippee! What are I'm, like, I'm, I'm very much in agreement that it's a blend because my my dirty secret is that I don't actually think of sci-fi and fantasy as two separate genres. Mm -hmm. But he, he, here, here's the bit, right? If the Earth is called Terra, 
it's sci-fi. If it's called Gaia, it's fantasy. Hi, Ark Knights. <laughs> yeah, it's called Hydaelyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have to Hydaelyn. find other ways to tell. Yeah, well, Hydaelyn by its like most known name, and then uh, Ifaris by its older name. Both of which, well, Ifaris is literally Efer, and Efer makes up everything. So by accounts, that's that's both. <laughs> I, I admit I prefer the name Ethereus because mm. calling the planet Hydaelyn creates unnecessary confusion with the goddess Hydaelyn. I mean, I mean, it's because in the past, because because we still never met Hydaelyn. Hydaelyn quite literally was like the Earth. Yeah, she was the center, the core, and everything. But now that we know the truth and stuff, yeah, if if Ferris is a more appropriate name, but people still call it because I mean, for one, they don't know, or two, they prefer that. But for the most part, all the scions and those in the know call it the Ferris by now. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is cool. I do like that. Let's normalize Gaia as a name in sci-fi. I'm tired of Terra. Um, I'm I'm also a big fan of um the fact that the uh, the Lancer tabletop RPG calls Earth Cradle. Oh, I like that because you know, Cradle World, fucking yeah. love that whole concept. And um, yeah, I I I I like that one a lot. Uh, just calling it Cradle is fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do make sure to talk to Zero about the airship, because we're just getting tiny bits more of her uh, development, and I'm so happy. Home in their home. Yeah! That's also really cute. <laughs> this is where you came from. The Final Fantasy is all kind of genres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, not, uh, like despite, in 14. Despite like, having a, a genre literally in the title, it goes all over the place. Yeah, in 14, it's still all over the place due to the fact it's referencing all of them. It, it's really fun seeing Final Fantasy 14 being referenced outside of it in future games now. I remember I once saw a uh, an image that was really funny that was... Um, uh, a chart that looked like it was a height chart of all of the major Final Fantasy heroines. Like, you know, uh, every single, like, major female character from, uh, from Final Fantasy. And, like, it was set up like it was a height chart, but it was actually a chart of the sales of their respective games. <laughs> so their heights oh. varied massively, so you had, like, a lot of, like, tiny, tiny women, and then very, very large Aerith. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, it, it gets a little bit, little bit smaller. Uh, I think fucking uh, Luna Freya from uh, 15 was like really tiny. And then towering over all of them, absolutely gigantic Yishtola. <laughs> <laughs> People are very so normal about that cat. I'll be more into that. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's just it's fun seeing 14 now being the one reference in like 16 you have like the Dragoon pose that's mm -hmm. specifically like the 14 Heaven's War trailer which is a reference in itself oh boy hello sorry I'm happy to see him again or him him I won't say until I'm not get here yeah, hold on, sorry, I uh, got distracted. I need to uh, talk to Zero at the airship, I think. I usually forget to name my planets. Mostly because I don't think about it. Perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though you are welcome to call me. do have one for you name, but otherwise. In my own writing, most of the time, uh, my planets are called, uh, just called Earth because they're not, like, aware of other planets or it's, like, set in the present day. Um, the one exception is that in the sci-fi setting where we have gone to other planets, uh, we've j we're just calling it Origin, 
But the funny thing is that isn't even Earth. <laughs> it's quite all right. We've just finished swapping. All it's explicitly not anyway. actually a uh, an analog for Earth, considering it's a um, effectively a desert planet. <laughs> From forgotten ruins um. to mysterious relics. If there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. Oh, so cute! <laughs> As I may be away for an right? Roshan is like, I am prepared to offer one of my eyes for the for the ether source, but I hope it won't come to that. <laughs> also, man, let, let me just take a look at the view for a second. That is an absolutely gorgeous view. It is a good view. Cannot say I blame Zero in the slightest. <laughs> right there i see <laughs> there are specimens that want for procuring i presume <laughs> no no it isn't guilt ship business but rather a uh, homecoming oh shit we just have the original idea for powering the fucking spaceship <laughs> but enough about me you have business too yes and i'm in the way a homecoming? Far from okay. it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles oh, with us. hang on, I, I, I think I can guess as to who it is that you, you were talking about that's the boy. The there, I'm guessing Aaronville's back. Golbez plots to <laughs> invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. Oh, there's still lots of debris if these guys are. <laughs> <laughs> to that end, we require a great quantity of ether. No! Which we understand I called it. We yep. <laughs> Baby boy. We came in the hope of exploring boy. How it might I actually, I, I do know that he's going to have some story importance come Dawn Trail, which I am very happy about. Considering um, we just said with the homecoming, does that mean that we are in this world or source from wherever the Dawn Trail continent is? Because, hmm. like, we don't really know? I know that, um, I'm guessing that some of them probably oh, come from, uh, from, from around, uh, Must um, Rabanastre, but that can't be all of them. Yeah, that's what I just said, Evangeline. Oh, okay. Wait, what did... Is that not what I said? No, I'm doubting myself. Considering that I plays a role in Dawn Trail, and he's talking about a homecoming, that means, realistically, it's probably where we are from. You have a knack for finding trouble. If gleaners collected world-ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. <laughs> Aaron Bell. <laughs> it's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, <clears throat> but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the Forum's permission. Oh boy. It's time for bureaucracy! I love Aaronville, he's so good. He's such a baby, I love him. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As All right, just launching right into it, it's like, right, so we're going to the Void to beat up this guy named Golbez who's about to invade the world. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations <laughs> remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. <laughs> Must the stakes always be so dramatic? <laughs> right? <laughs> I thought we were finally in our chill-out arc. No. <laughs> Finding trouble! Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. it comes with According being a protagonist. It just kind of happens. The Exodus, yeah. The ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? <laughs> You're so fucking funny, Aaronville! 
<laughs> we love this bunny. <clears throat> I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the foreign's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice, and may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Kryl and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos. Hmm. I see. Right then, time to put our best foot forward. <clears throat> oh, a pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. <laughs> and what have we here? Later, Kryle. Later. You've work to do. Oh, more Dawn Trail teases. Deadline bliss. <laughs> so real for that. <laughs> Zero. The first person Urianje asked about our target immediately told us where to go. Is there a place where you do not have allies? <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeping in a bed and eating more meals, honey. They are uh, historical the will <laughs> during the Exodus. <laughs> Real fucking researcher hours. <laughs> Who's deadline bliss? I believe she's actually a custom delivery, and you get to learn a little more about how Charlians were during the Mass Exodus project. Oh. And also really funny bits and dialogues. But, uh... I'll say to it, to make you, uh, enticed in doing it, it gives you the Gleamer set. Ooh. And a Gleamer fashion accessory backpack. You get the backpack? Oh, okay. Tempting. Oh, nice. Yeah. Reliable as well. <clears throat> I might. So wait, how do you get to? Uh, is, is this like a? How do you get to this? I 
don't remember. I think you have to reach a certain. I think you have to reach next patch and then her thing unlocks. I don't remember. Let me look her up. Let's do that if we can because I I, I do think that that backpack is really cool. <laughs> And it's a fashion accessory, so it doesn't interfere with any glams. Mm -hmm. And you just get the whole gleamer set as a glam. Like, separate. Very nice. Yeah. I dare say we'll look pretty cute in it. Okay, the outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, the the requirements is complete going ham, which is what we're doing right now. <laughs> and then complete the quest, go west craftsman, and then have one gathering or crafting job at level 80. That's it. Uh, that That's going to take a minute. We should probably work on that during some stream sometime. Yeah. Crafter stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that? yeah, and oh. then you'll. Oh, hey, it's this guy! Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Do I keep going on that? Hmm? Uh, so you can keep going. Oh, just, uh, I, I, I we, 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 we should work on our crafter sometime, Colm. Yeah. Oh, and also. Maybe, no, maybe, maybe well. that'll be for next, uh, next Tuesday. Mayhemter. I don't know how many levels we'll be able to get in one session, but we can definitely try. And you will pop. MSQ is going well. We are progressing fairly rapidly. What are we in? Like 5.3 now? 5.4? 5.4. Damn. Yeah, we got it in there. I can, I can show you where to do it really quickly. I know it. I know a very reliable one. It's it's Leaf Quests. That's the reliable one. <laughs> uh, I see. And then after all that, you'll find the marker in Old Charlie and called a request of one's own. Yeah, it's also that generally a very hard one. All up to you, Yule. I don't know when the next dungeon or anything is coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of each the next dungeon, like, in a, like, a quest or two by now. <laughs> and then I'll see the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that lot can't wipe their... What a fucking line! That lot can't wipe their arses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. You next... can be assured that my backside is immaculate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> so fucking good. Oh yeah, uh, if you ha if you haven't finished Pandemonium, he mentions to you, and I hope that business of Pandemonium is still on your mind. Because uh... the <clears throat> third the third the third set wasn't released yet. <laughs> I could immediately tell that we were going to get what we wanted as soon as they they, they sent along Montichan Montichan to uh, to tell us <laughs> along with Snorchano. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, Cryo was also speaking for us, and she has a pretty big backing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm reckoning this is probably a dungeon. Mm hmm. Well, you, if you want to get on, this is your chance. We'll have one yeah, spot yeah. open. For, uh, for whatever you want, I can do anything. I'm tank at the moment if that changes anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right, it's right here. <laughs> <clears throat> Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. If you're ready to depart, then so am I. Just say the word. Mm -hmm. Is something ship. the matter? 
I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. <clears throat> Graha? No. Oh yeah, of course. It's Yanjay recruiting. <laughs> Forgive me my delay. Tancred? It is good to see you. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. <laughs> oh, first time seeing the body. He tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. Ah, I think we're... And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Dalimol. A pleasure. <laughs> Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. <laughs> Wait, Odianjay, did you call him Thancred because you wanted him to do a dad moment? I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but... Ariange! <laughs> he knows what's up. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm headcanon right here. Ariange did not explicitly tell Thancred that that's one of the reasons why he was brought on. And, you know, Thancred does a little smile, hand on hip. Internally, he's going, Oh, fuck you, Orianje. I am going to get you for this later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think even better. He is completely unaware and just sees this person who's, like, all shy and awkward. He isn't sure how the world works and just has flashbacks to fucking Rain. Or Reen. And is just like, Oh, I gotta help her. And Udianje is just cackling in the background. <laughs> uh, I guess you think. Oh, wait. Yeah, remember, for uh, for MSQ, I always tank. <laughs> oh, it's true, true. One, two, three, four. Ten. Social struggles aside, Zero seems more than capable of handling herself. Still, I shall aid her in what capacity I can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. uh, yeah, uh, take the number, 1 to 13. 6. Well, because it's my favorite Final Fantasy. I'm gonna consider it first, so, oh well. I'll let you choose next time. Ninja. Oh, fuck, Ninja. Uh, do 12 Why is it always Ninja? Do 12 instead. Okay. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, cool. Uh, the I don't know why it's always so. Someone keeps it's, it's, people keep picking five or six, which keeps being Dragoon and Ninja. But well, actually, Dragoon's not bad now. Well, normally, I do seven. But I'm just not. That's what I did last time you asked me. Um, huh. <clears throat> did I count? No, I didn't count wrong. It, it's just, it's just like, it's just every, every time I did that, someone keeps choosing. Like the perfect numbers for Dragoon Ninja. And I'm just like, oh. What the hell? Alright, I assume that now we wait for, uh. Lupa? Yep. Yay. Oh, I got a card for Athena. Nice. She was just sitting in the inventory. <laughs> uh, she probably should have deserved to stay there. <laughs> you can just you can just hear Athena the tiredest one team playing. He's so quiet in your backpack. Me just ripping the, the card in half, tossing into the sea. <laughs> I mean, you can say because there's a chance he might do it eventually, because the weapons are pretty cool. So you can see that it's just every time you get her, you just go to the ocean, discard that's you breaking it in half, and just tossing it. Mm -hmm. I would. I would not put it past Athena to somehow manage to come back again from a fucking triple triad card. Oh my god. <laughs> I, 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 
I mean, it'd be pretty funny, but I doubt a triple triad card can hold memories and in a sway. And if it does, we have all sorts of other problems. <laughs> Hades trapped in the triple triad card. <laughs> No, it's not that every triple triad card holds memories, it's that Athena figured out a way. <laughs> Before her dying breath, she casts a spell on the triple triad card and puts it in the chest. When I in the chest, she puts it to slide into your inventory. Yeah. Best mother of the year, by the way. No. <laughs> Should work. Crosswell party. Oh. oh, it's Velma. Yep. <clears throat> oh, it works, it works. It does the job. Alright. Eat your food, everybody. It's showtime. Drink your coffee. I'm the one. Delicious. And here we go. This should be fun. I hope. Yeah, this one's meant to add from the end of last one. Oh, well, that's for me to discover and find out. Could be. Polar bears! Polar bear! Oh Ooh. my god, I love them! They're so flumpy. I mean, we are in the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, it's the North Pole. <laughs> the fucking Velma fit will never fail to not make me giggle. <laughs> right. I, love, I love these polar bears so much. Um, going slow at the beginning because I don't know this dungeon yet. I hope I'm never that not like m my habit of going slowly through uh, early, like first time through dungeons is annoying. You're fine. That's alright. That ain't too much. Oh, I love these polar bears so much. Oh hey, it's the fucking sharks. Oh, it's one of the concepts of today is hates seeing every time. I forgot there was a second mob. <laughs> I guess I got used to this Phoenix.
Death Shots in. Look at, oh, wow. Look at him! Let's I love him! Okay. Uh, like what about. did this one do again? The main oh. mechanic is that ice will sprite. If the ice is small, it'll burst with a small AoE. If the ice is large, it's gonna be very large. It's gonna be pretty large. Gotcha. And the burster is a loud scream from it. Oh, okay. and it does have half room cleave, so be close to it. <laughs> okay. Ready, regen, okay. shield, go. Oh, that's the half of them. Oh, wait, that's not. Okay. That's the half of them. <laughs> Fine. What was the name of that attack? Uh, title Sweep. Gotcha. Okay, there it is. The Ice Shards. And up Sweep makes them start resonating. Oh yeah, the ones with the sound are the ones that go off. I think that's all of them, but yeah. Okay. Oh, and the big ones go off slower. And that should be all. How big? Oh, really big. Okay. It's okay, we're fine. I owe breath. Oh! Okay. Bye, Anna. Oh, stick by the big ones and then go back. Nice. Okay, we're good. Oh, right, breath. Get out of way. Pop up. Okay, I'm going fucking damage numbers. We got it. Easy. Yeah. These ones are actually you can actually find them first in a uh, in height in the hydro part of Eureka. Oh, neat! Oh, penguin! Penguin. What kind of DOT? Apparently not yeah. anymore. They re they replaced it for uh let me see oh, they replaced it for just straight up damage increase for the secondary hit or something. Basically monk doesn't have anything to uphold anymore. It's just straight damage increases.
Pay attention to me. Look at me. I can't kill you right now. No, it wasn't Barry. Or at least if it was Barry, they were here very briefly and then gone. Hmm. How quaint. These things are pretty. Yeah. They're ham golems. <laughs> They're all ham. I also need you guys to stop moving after this group so I can fix something. Aye aye. Well, the second off. <laughs> Hi, farm girl. Hmm? You're just a little reminder. You're kind. You're cute. You're so, so sweet. And I'm proud of you. You've been putting in so much work. Always tiring yourself out, and still managing to do all everything else on top of that? It takes a lot, and you deserve to be praised for all that. So, good job. Keep up the fantastic work, because you deserve nothing but the best for yourself, okay? I can see why a one-person commissions all in readings from <laughs> I shall take that as high praise. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. fun that I can uh, I can you know be in the middle of a bunch of stuff and then press one button that has a recast timer of 25 seconds and just get all my health back very nice who let blood wedding be a thing it's a ridiculous ability uh, whoever let its original ability just... Yo, Evangeline, you, you here? Oh, shite, I didn't realize, I didn't realize you returned. I was looking at Twitter. Are you silly? Yeah, we're waiting outside the next boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one's the big bear. Mm -hmm. Uh... You've heard of their alliance on the floor, now there's watch out for the lines on the floor. What? They get AoEs up. The AoEs get lines. 
the, the lions get AoEs on them. I see. Lions or lines? Lions. The, the AoEs get just, lions on them. Yes, got it. Just, just, just watch out for the lightning crackles. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Uh, take one of these, one of those, go. Up. Right in the middle of the light lines. My fucker ley lines. Oh, I see. Oh. My ley lines, you motherfucker. Oh, boy. You're fine. Not even breaking your shield, you're good. Nice. Oh, that was hit by that. Oh, Valor. We have to be doing that because they have a bunch of stacks. Lines of fancy. Oh, Anna. Get out of there. Get. Oh, what the fuck? Ow. He's gonna die before I can get it, but oh, it didn't. But we still shielded all your health. I couldn't even use my fucking lines the first time, probably. Yeah, you were getting bullied. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting bullied. I haven't been hit yet. It's just bullying, it's just bullying me my lead. Lead line denial is a form of bullying. What? This is real pretty. It's, it's pure evil. Uh, pure, but actually, no, yeah, it is pure. But... Did, 
fucking aimed for me, okay. Thank you, dude. What the fuck? I didn't mock up to you guys, what the fuck? No, it, it was going for its AoE, it fucking hates me. It went for me, directly. I did no wrong. Reference this third game is fun, but if you recognize it, uh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. That was four. I forgot. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Big fucking squidge. Just <laughs> I I switched my mind to knowing exactly what FF boss it is because immediately the FF4 boss team plays. Octo Mammoth. Octo Mammoth. Oh, it's the first boss of four? Yeah. Wow. Okay, fuck, uh... I don't know if I can really explain this boss, just the circles or how big... You know what? You'll be fine. All right. Just watch Ooh. out for the arms. Got it. Something will be too late for us, which is the way of it. Over here, walking. I think that's a swing. Oh, it is a swing. Those shites are. <laughs> Uh, don't be in the circle. Oh! Well, that, that was kind of hard to figure out. Uh, Evangeline. Not in front of that. <laughs> uh, where? There, there. Uh, wherever the, wherever the laser is in the circle, don't be in that circle, or its lines. So this is safe. Be in the front, and I. Uh, good luck. I don't know. Oh, it's. Oh. Well, at least and it isn't involved. In yeah. Yep. 
I get hit by some stuff, but that's okay. I can live. Oh. Yowchers. Where's my healing? Oh, I don't have it. Shit's fucked up. Oh, get out. Oh, uh, uh, what, what are you doing? I'm dragging. I am going to a oh, no. Pokeball moment, I think. I've come back from the Pokemon realm. I'm dead. Not much I could have done about that, sorry. How is that game anyways? It's fine. And I'm back. So, yep. Mm -hmm. And now immediately dodge the line. Are these crystals new? I've never seen them before. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, Evangeline. I am dead. I tried to get away it's from you. We I got can... it. I also Ooh. tried to get away from you. Unfortunately, it's in the same we direction. We went in the same direction! <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay. It's fine. We lived. Woohoo! Yippee! Yeah! Oh, uh, no commendations in this fucking party. Unfortunate. Yeah, motherfucking night. Good stuff. I think we did pretty well. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Varshan was talking about getting some squid for a Stinian. Nah. <clears throat> that is a lot of aether. Obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. I like this dude. He's very silly. Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. By the boy, where were you planning on putting these to use? We could deliver it by airship, see, provided it ain't too far. We would need them transported to Galenor, to the Tower of Babel. Ah, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. Yeah. You have <laughs> a little thumbs up. You not forget your generosity. I, I love the Lalafell thumbs up. He's such... Yeah. It's cute, and he is just a good. Yes. Ah, excuse me. Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Why would you say such a thing? You were not bound by contract or the threat of force.
and you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. Yet you Banquet reaction. Oh, the situation is more dire than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Paint. What binds me? Hmm. A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. No matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. I trust them, in short. Trite though it may sound. Trust. I remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? It had no place in my dealings. Not with other Voidsend, and certainly not with Xenos. Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. Full often did Memoriates betray their own. Corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. Alone we fought. And alone we fell. I wouldn't know how to trust. Oh, Is there some trick to it? <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. <laughs> hey! Don't pin that on me. Hi. <laughs> absolutely fine. <laughs> I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadows. But before that, I take it you've heard as well. Indeed. The client seeketh Archons, and twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. Well, assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down, hmm? Oh. Okay, so, current bet, that letter we saw earlier with Cryo, someone's seeking out the Archons and sending them all an invitation to deal with some sort of problem. Which Dawn is what, Trail, yeah. Which, yeah, leads us to Dawn Trail. It's specifically for Archons, not the Scions, which means that there may actually be different people, or uh, brought in, they're, or they're being like brought in for different roles of some variety. Uh. <laughs> Because, like, if they were going for the Scions, they would really only need to send the letter to Kryle. But also, the Scions are disbanded, as far as we know. So, like, there's a specific, uh, like, request that came to Uriange and Thancred, and then a different one that came to Kryle. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going for the Archons, specifically. Exactly. Yeah. It just happens that, you know, because of Thancred and Uriange are not really doing much on their own, besides checking up on the bunnies and all. They're probably prime candidates. Yeah. Well, why would Cryo be? Because she's oh. so busy. Oh, Vanjin, can you hit us with the teleport over there? Can you teleport uh, to work in Smash World parties? That's a good point. Probably not. It, it doesn't. Velma, get over to Exodus. And we yeah. can make the party. Velma, are you still unable to transfer over to Exodus? 
Oh, was it? Oh, was it? Was it, was it locked? No. It was full. They're in Namia right now. Uh, yeah, damn. I need to be a level 90 to disciple the hand to meld this. Alright, never mind. That's why I haven't melded any of these materia. Yeah, you know what, let's... Before we go into Dawn Trail, we need to spend some time outside of stream and probably a stream or two getting our crafters up to the point where we can actually do shit. I have been mm. neglecting mine, I apologize. Well, well, you only really need, like, one, craft, one crafter to do melding. I, yeah. I think? I don't, I don't remember if... I don't remember if it's crafter specific for melding or you just need a high Oh wait no, yeah, you just need a high level crafter to do melding, but for repairs you'll need the specific ones. Right. The what melding is... is I think the important part. Mm -hmm. Considering I've heard that Dawn Trail Dawn Trail is fucking difficult. Uh the most you could put on is the highest for that is Materia X. 11 and 12 are for the hundreds. It seems that I do not have an X crit rate. Oh, uh, Did I have one? Is it Heaven's? No, Heaven's Eyes Direct. Here, you can have a quick tongue. Uh, oh, I just have it passively. Uh, I don't know, if you want to do it for dancer, you yeah. take an eye. Uh, sure, thank you. Well, I, I don't have use for these anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I admittedly well, also have like a massive amount of material here. So what happens if I try to meld past this? I meld past it? Let yeah. me check your... No, you cannot uh, add materia. No, it's only on crafted gear oh. that you can meld past to. I see. Oh. But that's like the best gear you have. That's 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 like, you know, five item levels below raid gear. So it, it'll be fine. Uh good thing, by the way, Con. Um this is completely random, but um I forget, do you happen to have PlayStation Plus? No. I see. I was just saying because um I checked the other day, and one of the games that's, like, available this month is, uh, Little Nightmares 2. Oh, god. Whoa. I played the original yeah. on stream, didn't I? Yep, you did. Mm -hmm. I've been playing it, it's fun so far. Nice. I wish I had it now. I've always wanted to play it, but I've only ever seen it. Because I, I had the original, and it's DLC. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys will unfortunately need to teleport on your own, since teleports aren't shared now. Hmm. There's the mods. Broken glass. <laughs> Maxima. <sighs> oh, Velma is considered this offline.
for the next card. <clears throat> No, that's true. I did mention this would probably be an issue. <laughs> yeah. Teleport across Garlemald for a hundred gil. Uh, like, uh, honey, just spend the hundred gil. Jesus Christ! It's a, it's a big map. He's <laughs> <laughs> now. Hey, hello. Welcome in, sweet thing. Hope you're having a nice night. Oh, I'm thinking of the phone, sweetheart. Welcome to the library, and I hope you enjoy your stay. through the story. So you hear no complaints from me? Ooh. 
Is the other one like deeper into the car? Uh, it's yeah. That's because oh, yeah. Five people on board ain't really great numbers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's with the people who already trust us. Mm -hmm. I guess at this point, there's, they're willing, but still not too wanting in terms of help. Have a good night, Paint, Mama. They have no idea they're talking to a dragon, do they? Yeah. Oh, can you not ride the peons of cross party? No. Uh, well. Up. <laughs> and so it goes zip far. Can't see guys on the map either. Seeing log. Ah.
Oh. Meaning that the occupation of the Imperial Palace is a sticking point. Yeah. That might actually be the, the key here. <laughs> Let's say, we'll get the fuck out of there. That'd be kind of hard to when we need it at the moment. Yeah, we can think, hey, we'll just completely evacuate after the fact. True. Maybe we can destroy some of those, but they get everything. Quest. They do want to grab my ice cream. So instead, you can do some trade.
Mitra is so good at this. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hope we get to talk to that one random guard who said he'd take over from. It's like, he's the fucking ruler of Rodson, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, he does not. He, he apparently has gotten over the uh, initial what the fuck. And is just like, oh yeah, this sounds like a good idea. Uh. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna grab that ice cream and we'll be back. I will also be right back.
Ah, ba ba bum. I roll. I've returned with some motherfucking ice cream. I'm back. Hello. Mm Not time to convince him by saving him from something that would have killed him. <laughs> if, if you talk to Gnaeus, Gnaeus, uh, he has a funny bit of just... Fucking embarrassing. An embarrassing 
way, yep. a man of Mechus' station should have the capacity to keep his emotions in check. Yep. anti grab. what the fuck did you- What the fuck do you mean, meat-flavored beer? Huh? Oh, is it an Oktoberfest thing? I see. Still cursed, but I at least understand Praise the sisters, you are safe. Don't think I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, event hats only goes for... Oh, okay, so it's like two weeks. You love Garlemald dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain. But you're not alone in that. We all mourn what has become of our homeland. Bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? I've yet to find the answers. <laughs> but I won't stop looking nonetheless, and I won't avert my gaze from our grim reality. Is there hope for us? I, so long as we live. Garlemald lies in ruins, but the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. You and I, it's links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. Maybe I'll set up a DRG day in the coming weeks to do some. Or I'll put it on the poll for Sunday. <laughs> to be lectured by the young man, it ill becomes a man of my station. Or Saturday, actually, because Sunday I have D&D this week. I will rejoin the talks at Tertium. Might I trouble you to escort me? Are we part? I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life, and I thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Dear boy, parentheses with optional bunny ears. <laughs> e. Euless, wait. I'd like a word. With you as well. I'm to stay close, after all. <laughs> Worry not, we shall see the magistrate safely back to Turkey. Sorry, Antigra.
What is it? <laughs> you bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. <laughs> oh, you lost. <laughs> so that's one way to look at it. <laughs> uh, no one has explained walk, to you uh, what the chilly, fuck the deal chilly. is with Zero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that was considered from his perspective, as far as he knows. Like this. I don't wait. There, there was that moment earlier. He. God, I don't actually know how much Euless okay knows about Zero. We were here with her, with her earlier, but how much did Euless so, like? Well, no, it sure literally the next line clears things up. Something like trust. Yeah, it's like oh, so that's what's up. I wouldn't describe myself yeah. as a sociable <laughs> person. Before all this, <clears throat> any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. As for the Magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the Twins' influence. <laughs> that was only a silly suggestion, and it's grab. You don't have to do it. Trust is infectious, in a manner of speaking. When someone believes in you, oh, how it fun makes you are, want Papa. to believe in them, in others, in yourself. Yeah, you definitely have to change the horn position if you want those to work. Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that also works. Little wonder my world is devoid of it. No one trusts in you, and so you trust in no one. Constant horn scratching the against the ears. Turns. During the Contra Memoria. We had already come to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. Oh, what? Amaris Azul. Thank you for the. My mother oh, wanted right. to save Thank you for the, the raid. Good evening, to dear. This is my name is Shim Conkron. I am a local true. empty fox boy. Go by he, him pronouns to write Shim content. I carried on her mission alone. God. Sorry, throat is doing bad things. I just finished having some ice cream. No, it's acting all weird. Well, uh, and yeah, right now we're playing some Final Fantasy XIV, and we are in an Endwalker patch quests. Amaris, thank you very much for the follow as well. What were you doing? How was your stream? And I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful meeting. And of course, for those of you who just came in, hey, why don't you tell me something you like about your streamer and or your favorite flavor of ice cream? Ma 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 ma. <laughs> God. Voice, please. <laughs> Ah, nice, nice, nice. I hope you had a lovely time, sweet thing. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. A swordsman and a mage. Whom I met when passing through a village. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriates. Ye. This is 5.4. We're getting close. <laughs> when they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search of a means to end the Contra Memoria. <laughs> They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. I would not be forced to submit. 
I expected some manner of outburst. Some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Uh, it comes back I around to that. Bond of trust. Yep. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared. Perhaps they hoped I was like them, too. I think that still works That's for the Xenos thing. Offer. I think, in more. his own way, Xenos did trust mm. us. Uh -huh. I continued fighting alone. But ultimately, I was undone. Overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. <laughs> I was cold. In pain. Wishing desperately that someone would save me. Maybe they just want him to. <laughs> yeah, homegirl. Homegirl's fucking life kind of fucked up her decision making. We can't fully blame her for that. As I lay there in solitude, <clears throat> I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Darkness washed over me, and I was swept into the rift. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. My home, now filled with abominations. <clears throat> I had a chance to learn about trust. And forsook it. I never had the power to save my home single-handed. I should have accepted their invitation. Had I joined them as I've joined you, I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. Poor Bean. But it's all history now. No amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality. <clears throat> Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope, no matter how bad things get. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Think about it. It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. If you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? <coughs> I trust you too, for what it's worth. <laughs> Her bashful the laugh. There it is again. The fire that burned in my breast when you came to my rescue. The urge to weep, though there is no sorrow. Oh, baby. If this is trust, then what must I do? How do I answer it? <laughs> I love how her voice is getting softer as she, things goes on. Yeah. However you like. Give me your hand. <clears throat> it's not something you do constantly, mine. A friend is a friend regardless. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. Make that clear. A friend. So that's what it means. Someone you trust.
Xenos. It is why I made the comment I did about Xenos, that the, the line about um, a friend is someone that you trust. Hmm. And I suppose, yeah. I know, I, I trusted him to do exactly what I thought he'd do. Well, no, I, I, it's more that, Z remember, Xenos called us a friend, which means that Xenos in some way trusted us. Mm -hmm. Which I think is really the more interesting question than whether we trust Xenos, although I would say that in a lot of ways, I do. <laughs> Melon juice. Rump steak. Nope. Oh. Lostertium? What's going on here? <laughs> I think I'll get radios up and running again mm -hmm. so they can make big announcements and such. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable considering the context of what the fuck happened, why there would be no more radios. Yeah. Wait, no, the radios protected people, do you not remember? Some of them did, but others didn't. Hmm. Like, remember, the, 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 the broadcast went over radios, but some radios, like, did help. Mm. And they were, like, a specific model. The ones with the ether crystal. I think. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Please. Anyway, since uh, Velma's gone, let's uh, remake our regular party so we can do teleports together and stuff. Yeah. Sooner 
around it. Let us take a moment to review matters as they stand. Having procured sufficient stores of ether, we may now channel the wreck. However, we have yet to receive word from Ishtola as to the state of the lunar preparations. Oh. Mm. Uh, going to the moon is actually going to be a uh, an opportunity. And measures to forestall mm. void scent invasion. It's the last place where we don't have all of our ether currents. Ah, uh, okay. We'll have to grab those. Neither task is simple nor quickly completed. <laughs> she would doubtless benefit from our assistance. The very thing I was about to propose. Let us join her above and lend what aid we may. Looks like all of them are probably in Bestway's burrow. Ishtola did bid me relay a message to thee. As thou art well aware, a key objective of our mission is the extraction of thy sister Ashdaya from the void. Held captive for millennia and divested of an eye, she is like to be severely weakened. To make good her escape, she shall require aid. Aid that is best provided by a fellow great worm. <laughs> You would have me go in my true form. Very well. Like our sire, we great worms are capable of traversing the great expanse. The journey will take some time, but I shall take myself to the moon. To begin with, I shall return this vessel to Radzad Han, that I may have both my eyes. Makes sense. And until such time as we find Ashdaya, I will entrust her eye to your keeping. <laughs> Hopefully I have like a sack or something to put this in. Will you do this for me? <laughs> we shall contact you via Link Pearl once all is in place on the moon. You need but follow Ishtola's instructions. Understood. We'll be ready. Take care, Zero. It will be the briefest of homecomings. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> In mare elementorum, then. Go well. Hello. Hmm. Once the fucking moon. I took the liberty of informing Ishtola of our arrival. She and we want to do the uh, the quest now, or when do you want to do? I don't have any particular... I mean, chances are we're not going to finish out this patch today. Are we not? I don't know how much is left of it. Uh, Forgive me. Let me see. I'd hope to have everything in order sooner. My thanks for the extra hands. We're on Lunar Rendezvous. <laughs> Alfino and Alice stand After this the quest Michael. finishes, there's three Fitra more. Is also en route. One of them being a uh, a trial. 
Excellent. So. You've done well, all of you. Mm. For my part, I've managed to prepare the ritual with help from the Watcher. Let's take all the quests we come across and we'll see if they're on the way of doing MSQ. All that remains there, the thing is, they're all in best ways, Burrow, and I'm not entirely sure we're going there. Open yeah. a gate leading to the moon of the 13th. In that case, let's just try and rush through this, and then we'll yeah. pick up all the eighth rights after. Or, you know, yeah. May I just say how excited and we if are not, we already know we're taking a, a break from MSQ next week, so we, we can pick them up and then we can focus on crafting if we don't get to it today. Is an opportunity yeah, good like point. No other. Ishtola even managed to get a loan of elegant treatises on voids and summoning from the prized collection of the Sons of St. Koinak. The Empire's application of ethereal <clears throat> chemistry in regulating void gates provided us with many a useful insight for our work, let me tell you. I asked a favor of Grahatir when we were comparing notes on cross-rift travel. Given his credentials, I was confident he wouldn't be denied. <laughs> have a good one, mama, mama, mama. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful night, sweet thing. Oh, okay, cool. Then uh, after we talk with Yestola at the second location, the very the next thing to do is go to Best Ways Burrow. Perfect. We can pick up a bunch of the ones and hopefully maybe do a couple of them while we're out and about gathering materials and stuff. Right. And with our knowledge and resources, we shall construct a void sent containment Excuse seal me. on a heretofore unseen scale. Containment seal? Then thou wouldst make use of. Aye, a tried and tested means of holding dark entities at bay is readily available here. Oh. It would be remiss of us not to employ it. So we're gonna put it to us another use, huh? Yeah, we're just, so we're fucking the remaking the Zodiac prison. Daniel destroyed. Oh. That which held even Zodiac shall more than suffice for void scent of any persuasion. Which, for the record, I'm pretty fucking the certain is an excuse to add Zodiac to the unending codex. Critical parts of the brand's restoration. <laughs> there are, however, a number of concerning factors that remain. With your help, <clears throat> I'm sure we can resolve them. Time is of the essence, so I suggest we continue this discussion as we make our way to the brands. Alright. Uh... Are we really supposed to go to the burrow? It looks like the next quest point is over in the middle of this. I said you should look for the second time. Oh, okay. I'm a step ahead of you. Yeah, that's... Alright, this will take some time to get over there, but afterwards, I will tell you. Oh my god, there is a Loporit named Flopping Way. Flopping Way? Flopping Way. Uh, is he just like laying her. down all the cozy? No, no, no. Uh, he's apparently the manager and operator of the central control sphere. I would hope that the manager doesn't yeah. flop. <laughs> I returned from where, by the way. Welcome, Maya. I was mostly setting up stuff. Oh my god, Zero's like, what the fuck are these things? Oh god, this is gonna be funny. <clears throat> Fucking way of good. Side note, I had forgotten how much I fucking hate getting around Best Ways Burrow. Yeah, because we have to go. It's got a car. 
We can't fly, dumbass. Are you just accepting all the blue quests right down here? I'm gonna do so, yeah. Name that way. When I said I, when I said about the car, I said I have the car. Gotcha. As in, I can fly for you once you get there. Thank you. Dreaming, why? Brusque. Catch up with you know. Let me just skip it. Yes, and nearly everything wrong with the world seems to be their fault. <laughs> the elegance. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Wait, bodyguard duty, cool. Right. Thankfully, it looks like all of the uh, all of them are on this floor. With accepting. Back. Uh, it's like congratulations uh game designers you successfully made uh, a approximation of what it would be like to walk around in a building designed for giants it's fucking annoying mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll give you eventually once i skip these scenes. oh so yeah I mean, this is a very convenient excuse to add Zodiac to the Codex. No oh god. <laughs> you adventurers are quite good at solving crimes that no one else can be bothered with! Oh my god. Thank you, watching way. <laughs> And they're too fucking heavy to carry, so it's probably close. Alright, I over. Guy, boss. Room, room. What should be steps, or we have to do giant jumps up? I heard the monster with the blame we can blame the operates. <laughs> Never lie. They're so funny. Yeah, you looking at the pace, you'll probably finish down trail right before seven point one. I'm guessing at least. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's not what I expected. On my location, something starts attacking you for the Iron Carrot quest. Oh, hold on. I'll be right there. I was. I think you gotta talk to it.
Or did that do it for you? That did it for me. Perfect. All right. No thoughts, only carrot. <clears throat> It seems silly to have a whole carrot production just so that we can eat more carrots, but that's a problem for later that can be solved by carrots. <laughs> carrots solve all problems. As ever. robots to help them harvest carrots and they programmed them to love carrots and now they're concerned that it's stealing carrots. <laughs> it loves the carrots a little too much. Bunny propaganda. True, this entire place is bunny propaganda. <laughs> and you are not immune. You are not immune to bunny propaganda. Indeed. Hate the currents. Looks at Aaron looks at Aaronville. I'm sure not. <laughs> The only two... no, there's two more quest ones. Name that way and those... oh yeah. Okay, we're going out Yeah, we'll yeah. get that while we're out there. Yep. Looks like most of them were actually in Bestway's Borough, which is nice. Very convenient. <laughs> also, probably because, you know, this is the only populated place on the moon. Mm -hmm. There's only, with, with their standard quest design, there's only so many ways they can swing it. I am glad that they only made us leave the place for, for one of them. Yeah. Feeding way. Maybe. Gotcha. Uh, a nibblum, what's on your mind? Good. <laughs> 
screaming like your your dream is to find your dream. Oh. It's wonderfully self uh self perpetuating. <laughs> What the fuck is crushing Lay's deal? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what? Is he just like smashing stuff? Yeah, uh, the, the, his dialogue doesn't actually explain anything. <laughs> Damn. And we're just like, yeah, he's good. He's a good noodle. He does things, but, you know, like, not one thing in particular, TM. Yeah. I mean, he said you're no working way. I think he might be a working way. No, I just said oh, you might... Wait, no. What did I say he was? No, I said, yeah, he might be a working way. Yeah, I think you specifically said helping way. Oh, helping way. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is... Huh? Is this... Do the lockers This is have... one of the ones that's like an actual, like, repeated quest line. It's a blue quest, though. Oh, Dreaming Way is the way to get the, uh, lock rich. Oh, lock rich, right. Okay, well... Ah, uh, yeah. I'll be doing that eventually, then. So... It's adorable. First up, let's go uh, up You grass. gotta help out the bunnies! Yeah... They're babies. It's also, it also helps with crafting, because it's, it's the crafting society. Oh, that'll help us get it up to 90, so we'll probably end up doing that next week. Yeah. yeah it's 80 to 90, as usual. And then the the Omicron one is scattering, and then the elephants is come on. Fucking Omicron to the third society quest. You'll see why. Oh, that's so funny. It's no. I'll, I'll be really honest. All of them are incredible story-wise and i love the dialogues they have and the it's just amazing like i have to say this is the hook we use to get con into society quests you can like, try i don't i don't know how successful you'll be like as like as like a general little like a uh, tidbit the elephants is about trying to build themselves up again from their racing days the Omicron is trying to see how can Ultima Duel continue on after everything. And Lopritz is how can the Lopritz continue on after everything. Yeah, because their purpose is kind of gone. Yeah, like, there's nothing that's, like, gone wrong in terms of Lopritz society. They're still as powerful as they always were in their own little way. It's just that but, uh, their purpose don't have has intrinsically purpose changed. Yeah. Yeah. And you see little tidbits when you're trying to make a, a treasure vault for adventurers or places yeah. or stuff, but they, but they a lot have of that desire to help, but is, yeah. Yeah, and you know, it's also because a lot of Blobrits don't know what to do now. I think Cheating Way's got the right idea. He just started playing Triple Triad. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone needs the help as much yeah. as the others. Yeah. And then Omicron is how can these little societies 
in Ultima 2 will live on now. Mm-hmm. Not, because, and, and the question, are they alive in the end? In the form of cafe. Anyways. A welcome contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. You're making me blush. Oh, I love that. We have fulfilled the purpose given to us by Hydlin. Aiding the people of Atheris remains our greatest joy. So you can count on us. I love them, little guys. <laughs> I would kill so many people for the Loperets. Right. So, they wouldn't want you to, but you would probably. To patrol the moon and keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> My sleeping way. <laughs> They've never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiends. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment, and who better to give the supporters an educational thrashing than the champion of a Atheris? <laughs> Here it is. We give for the father. Instructor. Oh. Ooh. Thank you for the call, sweetheart. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Hope you enjoy your stay. Are they gonna get scared of her? I feel like they might. Oh. Not only have I fought Void Scent, I am one. Oh! <laughs> Sleeping way. <laughs> God, I was really hoping hoping for a roleplay battle. No, don't just stand there. Engage. 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 <laughs> Knock his head clean off. <laughs> A little scary. Right after we've managed to put the poor days back together. Pray forgive our comrades' enthusiasm. <laughs> May I inquire as to how long the repairs will take? On an ordinary day, I'd say no less than five. God, some of the some of the fucking timing and expression work in uh in fourteen is just incredible. Wait, 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 it's gonna be way funnier in a second. Watch Zero and Riange. Huh? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? This I leave to you. Hey! <laughs> the fucking comedic sound effects are sending me. <laughs> God. Boy, what did I have to say? <laughs> I honestly think the Hilda Renaissance is training with him. Uh. Uh, I am scared of the next Hilda Brand quests because they have they, they have control over tongue physics now. Oh no. What kind of monstrosities are we gonna make in here? All of the funnies. That's mm. nice anyway. I love singing Way. I think he's my favorite. I 
Maybe you think it up. The intimidating, like, like I am one thing is just how Zero is? Or did she do that on purpose because it's funny? I wonder if I think that she's having, she had a little chuny moment. <laughs> she probably wanted to show it off, but accidentally came up as a very scary. Can you hear me? We've just finished restoring the brands. Hi, Stola. Let us reconvene once you finish tending to matters there. The culmination of our efforts is nigh. All right. Oh, can we get a lift from you, Evangeline, once you're out of that cutscene? This is going to be a long walk. And I'm lazy. Yeah, first off, we're going to the east side of Mare Lamentorium, the Allegan Ruin. Okay, hold on. Then there's a possibility we'll have to go back to uh, Estes Borough, which we'll save for, save for later. Yippee. I have put down a flag as well. Shotgun. <laughs> I never noticed that with the Lollifel model, you're just standing straight up in the driver's seat. Oh my god, you're, how are you hitting the gas pedals? <laughs> are there gas pedals? Probably not worth worrying about. Nice oh, hi, Argos! Puppy! He's just chilling. Yeah. Don't ask, it's magic. Mm -hmm. uh, that, the fact that they have to make the vehicles work for characters of, like, any build, including, like, massive row uh, players, is always very funny because it it leads to really funny uh funny positioning sometimes mm -hmm. shout out to the two-seater motorcycle um where you can't actually sit in the second seat because that's reserved for alpha so in order to actually ride pillin on it you have to fucking cling on to the back of the motorcycle which is very funny if it's two row <laughs> There's also like the small the small rides that don't change size, so you have <laughs> so you have just like rogans that just like somehow fit in it. With like the tank from uh the dwarf quest line. Yeah. Now all I can think about is the in Walker's quests. How'd the Allegan get stuff on the moon? With a lot of these force. Are these are also crashed satellites. I see. They did send stuff to the moon, but I don't believe they've done space travel yet. The ambiguously sized bag. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's... Yeah, it's it's. I believe it's called Emadel's last site. It's mm. probably a crashed satellite that crashed into the moon mm. during the Dalmu project. That won't work out. There's probably a lot of satellites like this crashed somewhere. I've been tilting so much. And it seems oh, like the is under attack. Yep. Oh. oh, they all want me.
Looks like we do need to go back to finish that quest, unfortunately. We will do that later. Yep. Here's the flag for the next quest point. A flag? Yep, all right. Quest. Oh, right, you're, you're on yeah. pace with us, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what's up. I believe this is... Oh, wow, they fixed That's... all of them. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, fast? I mean, it wasn't too hard to fix. Yeah. To be fair, they did look there's... really cool broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you know what that tomb actually is? Uh, pure energy. You try to fucking evaporate us? Fucking A. Like, yeah. this, I think this is like essence of Zodiac, but not really. He's disappeared by now on. Should be most ultimates. Fun for fun. Apologies for the wait. The preparations here are finally complete. Excellent. The tower two is activated. But give the word and we will begin channeling the ether. Very well then. Make it so. <laughs> the moment of truth. Let's see it. Commence your invocations. Tis time to open our gate. That's a big fucking tear. Success. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to fit a dragon. Appears to be in place. Yep. Let's see how well it holds. Lord 
thing. <laughs> so this is the forest land. The land of boundless evil. He's about to get zapped like a fly going like that. Oh. Not even that, he just gets bonked. I dare say the seal doth serve its purpose. I see all proceeded the pace. Remarkable. Indeed. Just this moment, <clears throat> a void scent emerged from the gate, by which we may safely assume it leads to the 13th. It's incredible, Ishtola. Truly incredible. Oh, what an honor it is to have been part of this historic achievement. Yeah, is just going through her fucking glory right now. A part is an understatement. Yeah. None of this would have been possible without you and yours. Our success has also served to solidify our understanding of cross rift travel. The Asians rejoined reflections <laughs> to the source by instigating elemental imbalances. These imbalances weakened the barrier between realities, causing the ether of a reflection to flood the source. But why is it that reflections are predisposed to rejoin the source? Why have they never merged with one another? Thou art suggesting there is a unique property inherent to the source, one responsible for such an outcome. I am. Tis my conclusion that, as the point of origin for the reflections, the source has an innate pull over them. Hydaelyn, I believe, sought to suppress that pull, which is why she was created with the power of light, of stasis. Meanwhile, the power of darkness, of activity, reigns in the void. Hydaelyn's influence would naturally be weaker, and this manifested in the form of planar fissures. <laughs> Working with this hypothesis, I set my sights upon where the pull was assessed to be strongest, and through our combined efforts, we succeeded in opening a gate to the void. Now, I must stress, it was because we sought the void that we succeeded. Pleased though I am to have my theory proven, the secrets of travel to other reflections still elude us. You can't go visit your hubby just yet. Even yes. so. In the reality that lies beyond the eighth umbral calamity, there are those who found a way to reach the first. I will not rest until I do the same. One step closer to fulfilling your dream, eh? Just a step. Many more remain to be taken. <laughs> she doesn't even deny it. <laughs> Which further motivates me to forestall a void scent invasion. So come, let us set forth to find Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's plot. <clears throat> Climb upon my back. I shall take us to the gate. As we did discuss prior, I shall see the alchemist safely home, then together with the Loperitz, maintain vigil over the gate. May the sisters watch over and keep you safe. All right. Hey, it's the fragment meteor shower of interdimensional travel. Again. <laughs> Tiny bit behind, but I'm sure we're about to see it. <clears throat> Once more into the breach.
This is the first time we've gone with someone, though. Yeah. This is the moon of the 13th. Pretty similar. Yeet. It is. Ever since the flood, it has been a sanguinary orb in the sky. No void scent. A rather more subdued reception than I had anticipated. We are kind of ambushing them. Yeah. But unsurprising, given how jealously Golbez conceals the location of his domain. <clears throat> Still, we must remain on guard. One of his minions came through the gate, after all, <clears throat> and more may lie in wait. I do not sense my sister. Where could she be? Where? Vritra, calm down. Steady, Vritra. We've barely arrived. Let us explore our surrounds before drawing conclusions. Yes. Thou art right. I shall survey the moon from above. The ground I leave to you all. The red moon. It's very red. I'm gonna go a little bit out of my way to see what Nishtola has to say about this place. Because I'm kind of curious if she has anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what'd you say? Oh no, just something interesting you stole us said. <clears throat> From the second point, you'll just want to go further to the left. Go to the left edge. That's good, because I was going to the right. <laughs> I wonder if they're not turned off the edge. The other means. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. 
didn't even I didn't even think to expect them to possibly be here. Yeah, but they were supposed to save. Mm. Well, yeah, I guess. Hmm. I think that was what was set up in uh in the in the source. source. Yeah. Because yeah, I must call you split happened because that would have been done by Heidelin who only existed post Zodiac. Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe every had a watcher. Because like someone had to watch over Zodiac There's sort of parts eventually. Well, who knows? A look, wouldn't you say? I too sense something here. This pit much resembles the Cradle of Darkness on Owl Moon, where Zodiac was once imprisoned. If this place serves the same function, then a fragment of his power must have been sealed in the depths. Maybe that's how they sealed as Jaya originally. When Zodiac perished in the Source, I presumed <laughs> that every aspect of him was thus unmade, and his power scattered. <laughs> no Sparta kicking into the pit. But it's unmistakable. The darkness that permeates this abyss. Could a trace of him yet remain? Or is it something else? Hi, Seika. Pa, 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 pa. Hope you're doing well. Ah! What the fuck? Deserves bits to the head. Ugh. Thank you for 200 bitties, you fucking nerd. You're getting lured into a trap, aren't you? Come on, my friends. What the heck? Astara is here within this chasm. <gasps> Seika, you're a cute flump. But still, I feel like we're walking directly into a trap. Ourselves. Oh no, she's actually here. Though it still might be a trap. Trusted with Ajdaya's eye, were you not? Is this one of both our eyes? Oh. Sparta figure dragon girlfriend. I mean, one of those types of doom is way nicer. No, it's actually her. Ba -da -ba -ba. His will? So this is indeed Golbez's domain. Mm 
<laughs> You've grown up, little brother. I feel like the fact that you're telling her this means that she's not making out of this alive. This is like classic red flags. I don't think so. <laughs> but I do wonder what their voice Does is this based off of. Intend to remain a captive <laughs> meal for all eternity, not daring to test her chains. <laughs> As Grace as a Nidhogg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wonder why. I was laughing at earlier. And it makes sense because she probably fucking smells Nidhogg on him. Now there's a start. So, what can you tell us? Well, you heard her. Shall we look into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? Last quest, yeah? Uh, second to last. Oh. This, but this is the one where we fight Golbez. Yeah. There's something incredibly funny about Vreacher just ro <laughs> looking around in his dragon form and his name being above him. <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be over this ledge.
found it. Directly behind Vritra's ass. And then like a, a while behind. Did you find something? <clears throat> Memoria. A Memoria. But whose? Maybe someone in Gold Bells held dear. Was the mage? The one from uh, Memory Zero shared. Yep. You have yep. lied. You're right. And murdered. <laughs> no. Every one of them got what they deserved. Trusting fools. The last people who dared to trust. But you would be heroes. It always ends the same way. You'll see. Oh, yes. You will. Myself to pray for the unrepentant. <clears throat> Victims of the Contra Memoria, then, like so many others, but we will. End it. The silent voice to us. Is that implying that this is the us of the 13th? Thank you. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. I'm not certain. I, my, my immediate thought was, this is Golbez. Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. I thought Golbez might be well, the actual well, night one now, considering he seems spirit. a little bit more corrupted. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. No. I've no interest in working with others. Much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things, the wisdom of our era. We'll make do, old friend. We have accomplished much already, and another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help. Now then, our work here is finished. His Majesty has summoned us, so let us not delay. To Baron. <laughs> Had another vision of the past, did you? What? I was in it. It's 
them. The pair I met in that village. So, you have come. You, who would oppose our crusade. Retra. Don't do something stupid. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. He's probably the knight one. Oh no. He is the mage. I know you. Is that so? Hmm. From the world before, I dare say. Tis impressive enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form. But to remember your past besides. But that is of no moment. You are the memoriate who vanquished my minions. Correct. And what if I am? Then... I would bid you join me. As a child of our world and slave to the wheel, fight with me for the salvation of all our souls. Fight with you? More like fight as your pawn. It isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. I refuse <coughs> to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself, and for those in whom I trust. My friends. I see... a pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes. When first you appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. Never did I imagine that you would reach this place and gift me a golden opportunity. Task in Jailer. <laughs> Long as it has been imprisoned, this dragon. Your coming has served to rekindle her forgotten hope. Her yearning to be free, to return home. That is the key to our deliverance. Breaking the chains to purposely let her get corrupted. Yeah. The darkness is ravaging her. She's becoming a void scent. Rise, O oh Shadow Dragon. And obey.
keep our guests occupied. Before darkness swallowed the world, I fought tirelessly in a war without end. The experience taught me to discern the strong, that dragon, and you. I've said it once, and it's time to say it again. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I really can't explain this fight, but I'll say one thing, the cube does not spin. No worries about that. Alright. Though, I would appreciate if you took on Red Mage or something with a res, just in case. Okay, okay. Also, Gulbaz, I'm sorry, like, oh, you could never understand our pain living without light. Shut the hey, fuck maybe up. Maybe not, but there's another world that we dealt with heavily that had the exact opposite, the exact opposite problem in very similar amounts. Everyone has suffered, like, the loss and the absence of things that are dear to them. You ain't special. When someone's drowning in agony, they can only think about their own agony, not someone else's. Yeah. Yeah. Quick cue as well. Let's put this man back in the fucking grave for good. I don't know how to explain this fight, though. It's just good luck. You'll be fine. Probably. I'll try my best, but I can't guarantee being fast. Or remembering. There are so many blind people. Blast sword. Night and black. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, the elf had the things. Uh, obviously, Baron was the king, the, was the main kingdom city state of Final Fantasy IV. And I believe the Shadow Dragon is either an enemy or is part of Golbez's sprite in his fight. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Who's main tank? Uh, looks like Yuki's going for it. Oh fuck it! I forgot. Okay, you can fall off as well. Just to say. Must be reminding myself. This feels like a very wide. Uh, <laughs> Stay away from the rocks. From the rock. Crescent blade, blade. Ow. That's everything in front of him, got it. Yep. Just stay away from the big rock. Uh, don't be where the ice is playing, remember Hades. Yep. Crescent Oh, oh, multiple times that I only stepped back into that. Lingering spark. Great wide. Oh. Oh. They always get following. Crescent blade Crescent. into his ass. Oh, okay. That's your power. Oh, this feels like a. I'm sorry, Nico. So cool. That's very cool. You shall know true power. Oh, this is a kill oh. shot. Right. Oh, okay, now he does that right after too. Got it. Uh. This is a stop movie. That's an artifact. Ah, fuck. Three. All right. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, oh god. Okay. All right. Uh, let me get the other healer up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thank you. A raging gale you oh, this. Okay. Fuck is this? Um, remember the order. Oh, What's snitch. the order? Good oh. question. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Don't... hell. I did yeah, not that's... see. Uh, those are gonna move really quickly. Yeah, wait for us. Here's it. Here's an arrow for your toddies. Come 
Let's try and Heal check. Nasty heal check. Uh, split, split, do not get together, you fool! That's okay, I'll just die. Hmm? Okay, we're fine. A raging gale to rend oh, okay. One, two, three, four. One. Let's go here. Here we go. Oh, get the fuck out of the way, Shadow Crescent. Oh, I got hit by the fall off. Then <laughs> Do I stick in the middle? Yeah. Bang. Yep. Oh god, I can't see the AoEs. Oh, I'm cool. oh, oh. I may be I need healing and healing myself. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Let's go. 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 <sighs> Brazil. Power. My words to you, Kishis, make you kiss. Three commands. What? Jesus. And Gertz. You did a good job. I don't know.
Are you all right? What's happening? What's from this? I beg of thee, let her go. Darkness made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss, until uh, one day it dispersed in a haze of ether. In the absence of the great flow, that ether has nowhere to return. And so it has coalesced, giving rise to a mighty void scent. Now feast, feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with it. So I called this. Wasn't that his buddy's name? Zeromus. I hate that we just kind of sat there in the middle of that cutscene when there was so much we could have done to stop it. How powerful. A void scent can be sealed in memoria. may not hold not against a void scent born of zodiac's ether Okay, but why would it listen to you, buddy? Like, I feel like it's kind of... Gobas has kind of lost the plot in here? I 
also don't think Ashdai is actually dead. They wouldn't be emphasizing so much after this that we're going to save Ashdaya, like, you know, I'll return and save you, all that stuff. That was done in both the Warrior of Light's dialogue and in uh, Vritra's. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like we are going to save her. fun thing. Jerome is, is the final, final box of 14. Hmm. 14? I think four. <laughs> yeah, I think. I had heard the name Zeromus before uh, several times in fantasy. I didn't exactly know where it came from. As a fun fact, people actually were theorizing that Zero was going to be um, Zeromus. Oh, because, you know, same... Mm. I can understand why. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been thinking, that, when are they going to reveal that Zero's original name was some variant of Cecil? Well, who knows? Cecil, if you don't know, is the name of the protagonist of Final Fantasy IV. Mm -hmm. Ah, glorious. Flyer. <laughs> well, I can't wait for the next chapter. I'll ask for thoughts once you've finished your drone quest. Freebird Mare Lamentorio. Mm hmm. Feels good. <laughs> Frequent oh, flyer four. I can't find you. I can't, I can't get to Exodus to hang out. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, maybe it was a good thing I stayed in here. <laughs> Velma couldn't get over either. Ugh. I could have yeah. gone, gotten like any other world on Primal, just not Exodus. Sag. Very Sag. Do you remember Ciriatto and Farfarello? The cowardly pair of void scent that dwelled in my domain. Ciriatto devoured Farfarello, and in so doing, he inherited an all consuming fear of Barbariccia. For as you know, when a void scent and when a void scent dies, all That is to say, by defeat. And to make certain that we do. When the time comes, you must call to her. Call with all your being.
then it's settled. Our objective is to defeat Zeromus. While it is unsettling that a void scent could be born of Zodiac's ether, its very nature may render it susceptible to the brands that once contained him. I see. If the seal may not hold for long, then haste is paramount. Couldn't we just let it come to the source and strike it down here? Oh, there it sits. That's proper. Doing so would consign Ashdaya's soul to the ethereal sea. Any attempt to ensure her survival demands that we deal with Zeromus in the 13th. I could barely go near it. Never mind land a blow. Simple. Against impenetrable darkness, we must wield resplendent light. And it just so happens, there is a world replete with light. Oh? So that's your game. The question of how we will harness that light, you may leave to me. With our recent discoveries and proven techniques, as well as the aid of comrades near and far, I have faith that we will find a way. Not only if I begin my work at once. Rest up while you can, for there will be much to do when I return. Oh, we're gonna throw the first at it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wouldn't do to be idle while our esteemed sorcerer Sorry, my phone alarm went off. It was really loud. Right. If you have need of me. Wait. I and too I like to weaponizing you. dimensions. I have to say, I, I I like the dimensional stuff that's going on, but I'm a little bit disappointed that we've only dealt with the light dimension and Come the on. dark dimension. I really want to visit the world that got flooded by water. The Thalassophobiacs will not have fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah, it already got, re it already got rejoined. Right? Yeah. The flood? Hey. Yeah, we only the only reason we get to get go to the void is because it wasn't rejoined. The same with the first. Yeah. I do not remember which one uh the the water calamity reclaimed. Uh whichever one of course we'll find out which one the ship was to, and you'll find out which one was water. Zeromus is risen. I'll be real, I thought we were gonna be finishing out the storyline as of uh as of patch uh patch point four. Well, no. I guess we're going right on to the very edge of Dawn Trail. Remember, we go to five point five and then there's a five point five five. That'll probably be the transition piece. But what yeah. is another moment of this long journey I have endured? Oh, ethereal. Thank you very much for the fall, sweetheart. Welcome to the library, and I hope you enjoy your stay. It remains as fresh as if it were yesterday. I'm gonna be right Old back, and I can get my piece out of the oven. The mem yeah, it wasn't. I was right. He's wearing his friend's As I armor. promised you then, I promise you now, they shall sing of Golbez, the hero who shattered the wheel and brought huh. salvation to the world. So I was right. It was the blonde one. He's just wearing his friend's armor. Yeah, that makes more sense considering that, like, if we found the memoria that was in first person, it wouldn't make sense for it to be from Golbez. Mm hmm. This is Durante. Mm -hmm. 
All so right. the guy's name was Golvax. Yeah. So again, I repeat my joke. 6.1 to 6.5 is just the warrior of light in Meet the Italians. <laughs> oh, in what? Know. Meet the Italians. Hey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, any thoughts so far? I was interested. I like it. <laughs> I meant like theories and stuff. I mean, like. I, I don't really think I have any specific theories about what's going on. It all seems relatively straightforward. I mean, like, I already told you, like, the few things I noticed with, like, the letter. It was probably hinting at Dawn Trail, uh, homeland of. Aaronville probably being in the Dawn Trail area. But, like, there's yeah. not been, like, I feel like there's been a whole lot to theorize on. Yeah. Um, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that we're yeah. going to get more uh, in 6.5 and 5.5. 5. It's oh, There's either stuff that we already have a pretty good idea of or stuff that we don't know about to even start theorizing at this point. True. True. That's... Also, uh, what was it? What was I gonna say? Uh, oh, yeah, if I remember you, Technically, if... technically, Bo Bovas doesn't need to control Zeromas because Zeromas already has the burning objective in it True. to return home. Yeah, that's all that he actually wants. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. even if you would like to ask us a leading question, we can theorize on that, but we don't have anything right now. I don't have any leading questions. Yeah. Chites. <laughs> <laughs> then we won't worry about it until it happens. Because for yeah. tonight, we uh, are done. And we're going to be waiting yeah. with Oxy Cousin. Oh, oh, but I can't take a peek in. Will I zoom in on cuties? Thank you, darlings, very much for coming tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful meeting. Make sure to get some food, get some water, get some rest. Whatever helps you feel your best. And I hope to see you all again next time. Tomorrow we'll be back playing some more Near Automata, I do believe. But yeah. till then, take care. A little smooch. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye 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 bye. All of you are cute. Blah! <laughs> Raid. Stop streaming.